Okay, I'm scared. I bought a new toy. I've been, I've had a, this for <laughs> a couple of months and I haven't tried it because I'm scared of it, but I really wanted it. I really wanted to try it. It's a microwave kiln and it's a little tiny thing. See, and it's got a special coating on the inside that intensifies the heat of your microwave and can melt glass and actually glaze porcelain and fire small porcelain things. I think this is a medium size. There's three or four sizes. There are some that are bigger than this. But you got, you know, two and a half inches there to work with. It comes with all the little supplies and a glass cutter. And I've never used it. So you're supposed to pre-fire it to prep it. And so I'm going to put it in my microwave. And because this is a 700 watt microwave, not an 800 watt microwave, I'm going to prep it for four minutes. And cross my fingers that nothing explodes. Time's up. Give you these special gloves. They're supposed to be heat resistant. I don't know. They seem kind of flimsy to me. Oh yeah, it's hot in here. Oh, I can see it glowing. Take it out. And you're supposed to let it cool for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. See it glowing in there? Look at that. That bed is hot. I'll be back. So, while the little kiln is cooling down, I thought I'd show you the box it came in. I bought this from Hobby Lobby. Got it on sale. I had a 40% coupon, I think, and I got the kit plus shipping for under $100. Um, the bigger size kilns cost more, I know. But it comes with a lot of stuff. Like you need kiln paper so your glass won't stick. Use this stuff. And it comes with lots of different kinds of glass which I know I'm going to have to be buying more of. I have no idea where to buy it. This is uh, Millefori. You know the little like flowered canes. Even came with some dichroic, which I totally want to get into. Everybody loves dichroic. Dichroic cabs, dichroic anything. This is like super thin wafer glass. It's like really, really thin. Um, and some cheap bindings that I'll probably never use. Nothing in there. And it came with um, a glass cutter, <laughs> which I've never used in my life. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> how it works. I, I don't have one of those plier things, you know, that splits a glass apart after you've scored it with this tool. I don't know. So I'm going to try to cut some. I don't know if I'll succeed. I don't know have to try it, see if maybe I can get it to work. I'm terrified I'll fail, just screw everything up. I don't want to try the dichroic yet because I'm such a noob. But this is, I know there's different words for all these different terms for all these different kinds of glass. And yeah. See, it's St. Patrick's Day, so looky, some green. But I don't want to use this big thing. I want to cut it down. But I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know, even know if it would, that would fit on there. I don't know. Let's see. I'm so scared. 
have this little cutting board. A little water on it. Because I was doing dishes. I know you're not supposed to use oil with these things. Take this tool out. If anybody knows any good glass suppliers, it works with lots of different coefficient glasses, but they recommend 90 COE for this, which I think is softer. I don't know which way to hold it. I do not know. And why does it have this teeth? What do these teeth do? Ugh. So. Ugh. I am not in a good position. Let me move this around. Do I hold this up? Or no, that's gotta be it. I gotta hold it up. And you can I know you can mark it with like a, a, a Sharpie or something. Oh my god, I can feel it. Ah I can't get an edge. One. Did I get that? Try going the other way. Oh, I can feel it cracking now. One more time. Okay. <sighs> so. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh no. Um I need some of those pliers, don't I? So timid. I thought it would just break right in half. Not. Not. Ah. I got it caught. I turned it over and tapped it with this ball end. And it just broke apart right at the line. I was so happy. I didn't film it though. <laughs> and so I piled on some of that funky wafer glass. It's so thin. It's like plastic on, on a piece. And believe it or not, that kiln is still hot. It's, still, it's been easily a good 30 minutes. Let me get it. It's not really hot, but it is warm. It really does hold the heat in. That is amazing. Really. So I'm going to cut some of this paper. I don't need a very big piece. Just, you know, this stuff. I need a piece that will fit that glass. Put it on there. Not good that. And put your glass on top. Rearrange everything. Put this away. This is so scary. <laughs> Burn my house down. Oh my god. <laughs> and dichroic glass has metal in it. It is infused with metal, and that's what gives it that beautiful color. But this kiln protects it. So that you don't get all the sparking, you know, when you put metal in your microwave. All right, back to the microwave. The destruction, say three to four minutes for, what is it? An eighth inch, two eighth inch? Ugh, I don't know. 
I'm going to try it for four minutes and see what it looks like. You know, you can open the lid a little bit and see if it's melting. I'm so scared. <laughs> four minutes. Bombs away. Alright, time to take a peek. Peek, peek. Take a peek quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see rounded edges. Now, you're supposed to, whoops, you're supposed to be able to um, put this back in if when it cools off you don't like what you see. Just put it back in for a few more minutes until you get what you want. So, 30 minutes, see what we get. Alright, time's almost up. I can't wait. It's been almost 30 minutes. Okay, it's probably still hot, so I've got my gloves on. And the fiber blanket is stuck to the back, and it's still really hot. I can feel it through these gloves. Now, you're probably wondering about annealing. This thing creates its own annealer because it stays hot for so long and it cools so slowly that that's how you have your annealing. That's how it's done. And um, I'm, I'm very pleased. I think this will be a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> There's my timer. Um, I think it's very useful extremely economical if you don't have six seven eight hundred dollars or more to spend on a kiln I know I don't not even one of the little ones the little chili pepper ones um, this is an awesome alternative in my view I will be using this a lot and lots of fun I'm gonna make another one when this cools completely down with uh, some different color and the Millefiori. I'm still afraid to cut into the dichroic because it's so expensive and I don't want to mess with it. I'm using this cutting board. It's a kitchen cutting board and I won't use it for anything else. Just for cutting glass. I, glass is weird. Um, I don't want to mess with it. So because I'm using this for glass, I'm not going to use it anymore for food. It's a little tiny one. I didn't really use it for food anyway. And um, so we'll see how this one turns out when this is completely dry or completely cooled. All right, it's pretty much cooled off. It's still too hot for me to handle for a long time. But look, see, will this stuff come off? When it's completely dry, I'll rinse it off and see. The edges are rough. I know you can grind these down, or I could put it back in and fire polish it. But I'm not going to. I'm going to try another one. Another piece of this stuff. And this time, this is like a like a a white kind of translucent with um, some green millefiori. Make sure it's all on that paper. And I staggered it. And this is going to have to stay in longer because there's more glass involved. So I'll put this in for, I don't know, six minutes? I'll try six minutes. See what I get, and I'll show you. Okay, it's 
been over an hour. And I, I just glanced at it when it was still glowing red hot and the shape was real good. So, here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Ah, okay. The cab is still really hot. The millefori melted completely in. And this paper, this fiber paper, does wash right off. I washed it right off the back of this. It's really rough. The glass it just takes on the texture of whatever it's sitting on. So if you don't like that, you'll have to grind it down. But I like this shape. Um, the color is a little weird. It kind of looks natural, but and it's still really hot. Like I said, it's been over an hour. Um, this thing really does a really good job at annealing, I would think. Yeah. So, I'll get brave and cut some dichroic. Give that a shot. Top of the evening to ya. Don't drink and drive. I went out for a little bit. And everybody's in shorts and tank tops. And kids on their bikes. And people out with their dogs. And people driving around with their green garb. Sparkly green bar hopping. So, have fun, but be careful. Stay happy. Stay inspired. This is really cool. It's very cool. I'm going to enjoy this. See ya. Bye-bye.